Hello, welcome back Year 6. Today we are going to learn Unit 9 Malaysians Speak, taking from textbook page 89. Today is our fourth lesson for Unit 9. So what are the things that you need? Today we are going to need your Year 6 English textbook and your essay book. Alright, what are we going to learn today? We are going to learn to write and Email. That's right, we're going to write an email. Alright, let us look at look at page 89. This is an email. Susie writes an email to Wei Min. Use the notes given to complete her email. So Susie wants to write an email to her friend. Let's look at the email format. First, you can see two. She's writing to Wei Ming, that's the email address. And the subject is a, a visit to the parliament house. So let's read. Dear Wei Ming, I had a fantastic experience last week. Do you know what is fantastic? Fantastic means very good. I visited the Parliament House in Kuala Lumpur with the school prefects. Do you know what's a school prefects? In your school, there are special students chosen by your teachers to take care of the class classes and to make sure they line up properly and you have to listen to the prefects in your school. We were amazed by what we saw. Amazed means they were very excited. They couldn't believe what they have seen. That means amazed. We arrived at the Parliament House at 10 a.m. They reached the house. They reached this place, the Parliament House, in the morning at 10 a.m. in the morning. The entrance was very grand. Entrance means the door or the way that you go into a building. That's the entrance. Very grand means it's very big. That means the entrance, the door to go into this building is very, very big. When we entered, we saw pictures of our prime ministers on the walls. We took many photographs there so when you visit a new place you will be very excited and you want to take photographs with your friends or families right especially during your school trips or trip with your family let's continue after that and then we felt so proud to be Malaysians when Susie wrote that she's very proud means that she is not ashamed to be a Malaysian. Please write and you continue on. So where should we get our answers or where should we get the information to write for this paragraph? Can you see this box here? They have given some guided words for you to write and complete this paragraph for Susie. Your friend, Susie. Alright, let's see what is Parliament House. Do you know what is a Parliament House? Have you seen this building before? There are many people in it, important people from the country, from our country, that gathers here and to discuss about what kind of laws Malaysia should have. The laws are made here. All the peraturan undang-undang, the kuaita. So this is our parliament house where you can see the prime ministers are here too. Alright, so today we are going to write this email in our essay book. So how do we write? We are going to focus on this part.
let's look at the guided words given to us. Visited, main halls, learned, lost, country, were made, spent two hours there, living, saw, prime minister, excited, shook is the past tense of shake, spoke is the past tense of speak, tell, what, did, holidays. All right, so let us bracket, put the brackets to show where should we make our first sentence from these guided words. The words given to you is after that. How should we continue from the word after that? So what do you think are the words that we should write in our first sentence? Can you bracket them? That's right. The first sentence taken from these two words, visited and main halls. So how are we going to write? After that, who visited the main halls? So you can write like this. After that, we visited the main hall. That means Susie and her friends. That was written in the paragraphs before this. What is the next sentence from the guided words? Yes, you learned, laws, and country. This learned is the past tense of learn. L-E-A-R-N, learn. When it's past tense, you write it L-E-A-R-N-T, learned. So how are we going to make sentence for this? Who learned the laws? Who? We learned about the laws of our country. We learned about the laws of our country. The next guided words given to you were made. We can make a sentence from here. Were made. What was made? Can you guess? This word can be quite tricky to make a sentence. I think it's the law. So they said that laws of the country. So there are many laws. So we say they were made in the parliament house. They, that means the law, they were made in the parliament house. Or you can say they were made here. The next sentence you can choose from the word spent two hours there. Who spent two hours there? Yes, we spent two hours there. Another past tense word here, spent. S-P-E-N-T, spent. The present tense word for this is S-P-E-N-D, spend. From the guided words again, let's see. They have living, saw, prime minister, we can make into another sentence. Who is living? And what do they see? When do they want to live? So you can write, before leaving, we saw the Prime Minister entering, entering where? Entering the main hall. Because they said in the first sentence in this paragraph, they are visiting the main hall. Very good. All right, let's continue. The words given to you next is excited, shook and spoke. Do you want to join all these three words? I think it's easier to just take one word and let's talk about the feeling. We were very excited. If you, do, if you don't want to use the word excited, you can replace with we were over the moon. We were on cloud nine. We were head over heels. So you can replace with other types of phrases for this, excited. The next word is shook 
and spoke. Shook is referring to shook hands, like you're shaking hands. So when you see somebody new, you will shake hands with the person. So he shook our hands. The Prime Minister, he, he shook our hands and spoke to us. All right. So we are going to write this. We felt so proud to be Malaysians. This is taken from here in the text. They are given to you. Because if we just continue tell what did holidays, it doesn't make sense before this sentence. So we are going to write, we felt so proud to be Malaysians first. After that, we are going to continue with, please write, okay, the last sentence, please write. So Susie is going to tell Wei Min, please write and tell me what you did for your holidays. All right, children, this is just an example of how you expand your notes and make sentences. You can even write your own sentence. You do not need to follow me, follow my examples. You can write in your own creativity. This is just a guided sentences for you to refer to, okay? Please feel free to write your own sentences. So today, your homework is to write an email in your essay book. Your title is email and you are going to write the format and start with Dear Wei Min, I had a fantastic experience last week until you finish with your friend Susie. So year six, remember to write in your essay book the email that we have learned just now after that, take a photo and upload in your Google Classroom and send it to me. I'll be waiting. So, I hope that you understand the lessons today. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.